Here we go. We've got number three coming in, and I, according to me, this will be Steve Taylor. Yes, yeah, Steve's one of the uh, Roaring Forties aerobatic team guys, Pitts aerobatic specialist. We said to him, it must be like landing a big pit. And he said, no, it's a lot worse than landing a pit. <laughs> That is a nice landing. He was debating yesterday whether to put it down on the radio or to three-point altitude. And that looks like the wheelers that we see. And that looks like maybe the way you want to do it. Well, it's a learning curve for all these guys, of course. They haven't long been flying them, and uh, every flight they discover something different. Now, we've got the next one coming in, which, according to me, is John Lamont. We saw him earlier today as the leader of the Roaring Forties aerobatic team, and we'll be seeing him later on. I knew you'd ask that, but I think he's flying the P-40. He's flying the P-40, yeah. Yes, he is. <laughs> Let a check on that. Now, he's sitting there actually talking both to himself and the aeroplane at the moment, and it's a good job we haven't got air-to-ground radio switched on. Actually, it's rather interesting. There seems to be two distinct brass strips on the other side there. Yeah. There's the one on the far side and the one on this side. This side seems to be smoother. Well, I don't know. Well, 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 then they will overshoot and go around and try it again. That is not chickening out. That is good airmanship. If you're really uncomfortable, if there's some situation that you don't like, throw it away and try it again. Basically, we've got all afternoon, and after all, there are only about 35,000 people standing here watching you doing it. I thought it was more than 35 here today. I, I made an estimate earlier, given, well, I don't know, but it's got to be over 40, 45. Huge uh, crowd. So yeah, it's wonderful. Huge. Wonderful. Okay, so he's on the short finals now. Over the fence. Now, he was, he didn't know he was going to fly this when he arrived here. He was just invited to do so when he got off the aeroplane. And uh, he'll be getting out of this aeroplane with a big smile on his face. Um, no, it's two goals. But it's big. That's safe. Yep. Yeah. You can see, ladies and gentlemen, that it's a twitchy little aeroplane in the landing phase. Requires a tremendous amount of skill to, to keep it on the ground. Join us at Historical Machines TV, where you'll find over 120 hours of awesome Warbird footage, for less than the cost of a cup of coffee a month.